Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, <laughs> we're painting today. So get your damn paints out. Shut up. Don't talk to me about art block. Let's paint something. I got a couple hours. Damn, I look busted. So we're jumping right into it today with a portrait of me. This is a picture of me on the subway in New York uh, last year. I really liked this outfit. I felt like I had to paint it and the vibes were just right. The face looks a little funky here. Can you see that? The face looks a little funky because I had to Photoshop it on, but that's none of your business. So I'm doing a rough sketch with oil paint and some mineral spirits. I mix up the same kind of colors. It's the uh, burnt umber and some ultramarine blue. It gives you that dingy, you know, kind of brownish color that I really like to work with. Right now, I, I did not like the proportions, the proportions were, I mean, we're just beginning, so they're off, but I uh, ended up wiping that away so I could get the overall shape, and now I'm refining. Y'all, this helps so much. If you don't do this, and you have, you know, sometimes have trouble beginning an oil paint, painting, try this. Try this out. Don't focus too much on the detail, uh, and then w midway when you're uh, done sketching it out, just kind of wipe it away. And then it will give you a whole new perspective on the shapes that you need. I'm just talking on my ass because I feel like this works, but I don't, I don't know exactly what I'm saying. But you know what I mean. You know exactly what I mean. So now I'm going in with like a, a darker. This is not green. Shut up. This is a different kind of color. So I'm going to do that throughout the you know skin tone of the piece. I'm not going to. There's not much skin showing. And it's pretty small. So I may, I'm not doing much. I guess less detail, the better. The less detail, the more the detail it looks from far away, if that makes sense. Anyways, I'm going in with another brown color, kind of sculpting out with my paintbrush. I'm sculpting out with my paintbrush. I'm a sculptor with paint. You know what I mean? Anyways, added some of this beautiful flesh color. I did go in with another darker, uh, like think darker brown to kind of just you know figure out where my eyes and nose will be since it is so small i don't ever work this small i don't like working this small um but what i do like i really just don't go into too much detail i just pretty much try and get all the shadows i can and that's it i call it a day so pretty much that's the face um and then the hands don't get me started on the hands i barely know how to do a face so i'm not even going to explain what i did with the fingers the less detail the better the less detail, the better. And if you end up like in an area, don't touch it again. But I must interrupt because it's time for some bean adventures. Y'all see how cute that is? Shut up. Anyways, I went to Woodenwood Walls. Um, this is just a quick little sideshow that I created for y'all. Pool time. Look how majestic I look. Oh, so fine. So. Oh. <laughs> I really thought I did something with this clip. Mm-hmm. Okay, Martha May. Then I went to the Frost and Perez Museum, uh, very overpriced, um, did not enjoy myself, to be honest. Um, it was very, very expensive, and the whole time I was just like, I'm ready to leave. I like animals, I guess not that much. This is the coolest thing I saw in the Perez Museum, though. And now I want to make one. And that concludes Bean Adventures. Okay, so what were we talking about? Um, details. So I don't really like to put a lot of details in my stuff. Even with the bigger things, I don't really, I don't, I'm not a detail kind of person. I don't like it. Uh, I want your brain to think of the details. Um, so less is more, especially with, you know, smaller pieces. You don't want to go into too much because then it, I don't know. I'm not Frida Kahlo. Have you seen some of Frida Kahlo's and, and Dali's stuff? Holy crap. It's so small and so detailed. Couldn't be me. Could not be me. Anyways, this is my outfit that I wore in New York. It was one of my favorite outfits. It was a tweed blazer, yellow turtleneck, and some ripped pants. Some ripped regular ass jeans and some white shoes that I got from, I think I was wearing the Skecher ones that I got from Goodwill. Great deal. I think I spent like $3 or $4 on them. But uh, this is me kind of putting in the detail of the, the coat. I was a little nervous because... There was a lot of detail in that damn coat, so I just went in, went in with color, and I was going to figure out the rest. Oh, my God, I need to clear my throat. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So, anyways, now I'm doing the pants. Also very uh, scary, because I'm not, as you, as you guys probably uh, know by now, I'm not really, first of all, a detail person. I already said that, but I'm not really a clothes person. I don't paint a lot of clothes. I don't draw a lot of clothes, and when I do, they are very, very simple. They're very simplified shapes and designs. 
So I wanted to have as much fun as I could with this and not worry about the details. And that's exactly what I did. And I kind of surprised myself. I kind of went ham on these damn shoes and the, the pants. I'm proud of the pants. Don't say anything about the pants if you don't like them because I'm proud of them. Shut up. Shut up. Please. I Look how good that looks. I don't draw this normally on a normal basis. Give me some damn credit. Anyways, now I'm doing the, uh, what's it called? What do you call them? It's, it's, uh, where you sit? Chairs? Do, are they chairs? What are those called? You can tell I'm not from New York. <laughs> I'm definitely not from New York. But I, I went ham on these too. Look at the shine of them. They really look 3D. Maybe not 3D, but you get what you get. What I mean, they look. I like I said, I surprised myself, and uh, I would say about a month before I'm making this painting, I was actually planning on making a huge version of this, something that was I think like four feet by three feet canvas, and I wanted to paint this exact scene. And now that I've done a little mini version of it, I, now I want to do it, but I want to make it super abstract and like crazy. I want to make it so juicy and weird. Oh my gosh, I can't. I'm so excited. What am I doing there? Oh, there's someone in the in the window. Yeah, there we go. I was like, what is that? It took me a hot minute. So as you can see, it's almost done. Um, there is a lot of detail that I added in the coat. As you can see, I'm adding these white lines. But what really sold it for me was the scratches that I did. Unfortunately, I did not record them because I, I kind of did it off camera. Um, this is what it looks like all dried. Obviously, I'm going to be putting like a varnish over it so the po colors pop a little bit more. But yeah, this is it. Yeah. Hey. Mm. Oh shit. Oh, did you see my goodies? So, good morning. Today's an actual very special day. I've been in Miami for a long time, but I haven't really done a lot because I'm scared to go, leave the house, and I don't want to get sick. So, today marks a special day because I'm going to Gianni Versace's mansion. I'm going brunch. Can you picture me at the Versace Mansion? Oh. Shut up. Anyways, I'm going to be super extra and wear this linen suit that I bought three, four years ago now. Bought this suit. It's a 100% linen suit. Never wore it. I got it for a dollar at Goodwill because green tags were the 99 cents at the time. Look at this. Green tag. This was 99 cents. Can't wait. Hopefully I look delicious, scrumptious. <laughs> I'm gonna be beige. I'm gonna be wearing beige and white. Well, I'm still gonna wear a purse because I'm gay. Let's go to the sassy business. Let's get dressed. Three, two, one. This is the look. Eat it up. I'm going to brunch. I'm almost late. Bye bye. <laughs> So here's some footage of me in the bathroom, kind of messing around, taking some pictures because I, I was looking good. But I was really confused. Is this a bidet? I was messing with it for about a minute. I have a minute worth of footage, waiting for it to squirt at me, and it never did. I was so confused. This is what I ate. Uh, we had snow crab for appetizer. Wasn't a huge fan of it. And as you can see, I have a very refined palette. I got a burger and some fries. Very delicious. Had to get it on a piece of wood. These are cute pictures of me. Look how sexy I look. Okay. So back to business. This new painting is going to be of Karen. Y'all all better go follow Karen. Amazing, talented actress. So funny. Go follow her. She's amazing. And when she posted this, it gave me instant inspiration. I just had to, I had to paint it. So I went in with, a, like I always do, a light sketch with some oil paint and some mineral spirits. I wanted this to be a little bit looser. Um, you guys saw the last painting I did of Alyssa Ashley. I wanted to do something a little more, not abstract, but more expressionistic, expressionism. You know what I mean? So I, I did have to restart a couple times because the likeness just was not there. As you can see, I'm rubbing it away. So kind of my plan was for this was to obviously be more loose, but I wanted to go more of like a Gustav Klimt vibe. You know what I mean? Something that was very glowy. Obviously, you saw the picture. It was her, gosh, her skin just glowing in the sun. I wanted it, I wanted to capture that, but I also wanted to get the essence of the background, but keep it very, what is that? Did I just say essence? Uh, well, shut up. <laughs> Not me thinking I know what I'm talking about. The essence. The essence of the background. I think about it. The essence. Shut up. You know what I mean, though. I wanted that very light, 
feel of like sun on your skin and then the summertime just okay you got you get the point i'm not being too much but look take a take a second look at how rich these colors look real quick i really did something like i really kind of wanted to stop like right here look how pretty that is oh my gosh that is i, I find that so gorgeous but of course, I went in with more detail because that's, you know, how, what I tried to do. But uh, I didn't feel most of it because I'm kind of stupid. So I went in with um, my smaller brushes and I did the body and everything. And this is where I was, like, having the most fun, though, is the background. Look at how, uh, first of all, this teal color is just I find it just gorgeous, especially hitting uh, that contrast with their skin. Look how pretty that is. And then you got the earrings. Do you guys see the, the inspiration of Gustav Klimt now? Look at that background. It's just, I don't know. I did, oh, it's just, I like it. I love this one. This is one of my favorites as well. So I went to the beach, as you could see, I was walking around, feeling the water against my skin, until I was eating a granola bar on the beach, and these, these damn, these were hovering, hovering over me. There was tons of, I just wanted to eat a granola bar in peace. I was getting so fed up, watch this. But overall, it was beautiful. Hello. Hello, hello. Move some stuff out the way. Just got back from the beach. So, this is gonna be a very strange vlog. It's gonna be a compilation of all the stupid shit I do. I just got Korean corn dogs. I know. Listen, never had Korean hot dogs before. <laughs> now I got a fish cake one. And then she said the other one is good too. The normal one. You put sugar on the outside? Let me try the fish cake one. Two out of ten. That is nasty. It looks so good on YouTube. What the? Fuck? I thought it was gonna be a gigantic mozzarella stick, and there's no cheese in there. I was I was waiting for the cheese pull and everything. Mm. This disappointed. I've been wanting to try them for the longest time, but have no fear. Oh, I did get some fried dumplings. Ooh, they gave me this much sauce. Y'all see this? Am I eating someone's leftovers right now? Didn't evaporate in the bag. Four out of 10. That is burnt to all hell. I did get french fries cause like I'm American. Ooh, regular plain old french fries. Let's try them. Why are they so old? Ew, what? What the hell? Y'all look at, they're so limp. I don't want to bad talk the place, but if you're charging, I just spent, I'm not the type of person that spends a lot of money at all. This was expensive. Like this was expensive. I'll eat it, cause I'm bored, whatever. And I waited so long for them to make this. <laughs> Bye. On the next episode. Palm trees. Have you been creative today? I'm sad.